Michael and Troy, uh, but Michael always comes in with uh, a lot of good questions and some, uh, some big dollars. So let's do two of Michael's $100 questions. If these idiots actually raise minimum wage to $10 an hour and keep sending out stimulus checks, will we have an economic catastrophe before Biden leaves office and hands and the hard left will take all the blame? The reaction to that being a nationalist dictator from the right. <laughs> oh, you know, Michael's just feeding into my pessimism, right? Uh, uh, I mean, there is a chance. And I think the real danger of, of the 1.9 trillion, there was a Wall Street Journal article uh, the other day that showed that the $1.9 trillion stimulus package will actually destroy, uh, I can't remember how many millions of jobs, that literally it will destroy jobs. Um, the minimum wage destroys more jobs. So I do think that the real risk that Biden is taking and uh, other policies that his administration is gonna engage in is to bring about a real recession that will bring about a, a, a real loss of both uh, a loss for the Democrats. Now, in some regards, that's a good thing. In some regards, that's a terrible thing. Uh, but, and I'm not sure the hard left will take the blame. I think the, the middle, the centrists, will take the blame. The hard left will still say, you didn't follow a hard left policies. You were too centrist. That's what caused the economy to collapse. So what I think is going to happen is you'll get a spurt of economic growth this year, early next year, as all this money gets absorbed in the economy, people shrug off COVID and go to work and get stuff done and suddenly production spi spikes. And, uh, and as a consequence, you get this boost in production. And that'll happen. But then all the bad economic policies will kind of hit. And then and, and the Fed will have to raise interest rates because inflation will stop peaking, will start uh, rearing its ugly head. And then you get a big recession sometime in 2022, just before the, the elections. And maybe that's the one shot Republicans have of taking the House. Now, in spite of how bad the Republicans are, I still hope they take the House, if only to be a counterbalance to Biden. So uh, maybe that's a good thing. I, I don't know that the Republicans are quite ready yet to, for a nationalist dictatorship or that the country is quite ready yet. So, uh, but yeah, I mean, this is the kind of ping pong. This is kind of back and forth that we can expect moving into the future. I mean, as the culture deteriorates, as the culture is getting worse, as things are, are, are really, really bad, uh, the alternatives become worse and worse. The options become worse and worse. And the outcome ultimately has to be a bad outcome. And, and that's the direction we're heading. It's no question. Exactly the path we take is hard to tell, but it is true, as you say, that it is going to be, to some extent, determined by the economic policies. And so we know Biden's economic policies are not good. There is a chance that they're going to lead to a kind of recession that will cause a, a, sh a political shift again in the country away from the Democrats. What we need today, what I call the new intellectual, would be any man or woman who is willing to think. Meaning, any man or woman who knows that man's life must be guided by reason, by the intellect not by feelings, wishes, whims, or mystic revelations. Any man or woman who values his life and who does not give, want to give in to today's cult of despair, cynicism, and impotence, and does not intend to give up the world to the dark ages and to the rule of the collectivist brutes. All right, before we go on, reminder, please like the show. We've got 163 live listeners right now. Uh, 30 likes, that should be at least 100. I figure at least 100 of you actually like the show. Maybe there are like 60 of the Matthews out there who hate it, but, but at least the people who are liking it, you know, I want to see, I want to see a thumbs up. There you go. Start liking it. I want to see that go to 100. All it takes is a click of a, a click of a, a thing, whether you're looking at this. Uh, and, and, you know, the likes matter. It, it's not an issue of my ego. It's an issue of the algorithm. The more you like something, the more the algorithm likes it. So, you know, and if you don't like the show, give it a thumbs down. Let's see your actual views being reflected in the likes. But uh, if you like it, don't just sit there 
help get the show promoted. Of course, you should also share and uh, you can support the show at yourrunbookshow.com slash support or on Patreon or Subscribestar or Locals uh, and, uh, and show your support for, all, for, for, for the work, for the value hopefully you're receiving from this. And, uh, and of course, don't forget, if you're not a subscriber, even if, you, even if you just come here to troll or even if you're here like Matthew to defend Marx, uh, then uh, you should subscribe because that way you'll know when to show up. You'll know what shows are on, when they're on. You'll get notified, right? So, um, yes, like, share, subscribe, support. Like, share, subscribe, support. There you go. Easy. Do one or all of those, please. <laughs>